Hey YouTube, Blastoise Rules here, also known as Big D. And I've got my video game pickups from July 3rd, 2012. These are from the last two weeks. I actually just got them today. But, uh, I picked up 60 games and it cost me 100 bucks total. So, I'm going to show you what the games are. First, I got a disc only game of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back for PS1. It was three bucks. Picked it up just for resale. And I got a complete inbox, but with broken hands, PS1 game. NASCAR 2000. It was 50 cents. Next, all these games that you see the prices on were half of what it says they are. Because they were buy one, get one free. So, we've got Bionic Commando for PS3. Already had it for Xbox 360, but I didn't have it for PS3. So, that was 250 Ace Combat 4. Shattered uh, Skies Greatest Hits for PS2 It was only 50 cents Actually my friend Ended up trading this on He told me But it's complete And it was 50 cents SeaWorld Adventure Park Shamu is Deep Sea Adventures I just liked how the uh, artwork looks, so I bought this. It was two fifty. It's complete. All the discs have been resurfaced, also, except this one. Devil Kings. It's a Capcom game. It looks really cool. Actually, I saw it, and I'm like, I have to have this. It was only three bucks. It's complete. And it looks like it's one of the last games to come out for PS2. Because it's in a different case, the crappy case. That was three bucks. We have Kia Dark Lineage. It's an Atari game. And, uh, I don't know, looks cool. And it was only a buck fifty. We have flat out. It was only a buck. Doesn't look too bad of, like, too bad of a game. High rolling casinos or high rollers or something. This was a buck also. Motocross Mania 3 was also a buck. I tend to pick up games that are a buck if uh, I don't have them. As long as they're not sports games. If they're sports games, I pay 50 cents a piece if I'm in the mood to buy them. On to GameCube. I've got six games that I picked up for GameCube. We've got Dakar 2, The World's Ultimate Rally. Never heard of this game before, but it was only a buck. And I like to expand my GameCube collection, so nice pickup there. It has some sticker residue that I have to get rid of, but Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. I have this one already, but this is a very nice copy. The case and manual are nice, so I'm probably going to upgrade this as my collection one. And then sell off the other copy or two that I have. 
It was only a buck fifty. Can't go wrong, especially when I can resell it for five to seven bucks. So the game that I saw and I had to have, Frogger Beyond. Seriously, I love Frogger. It was three bucks. Had to get it in a heartbeat. Pretty cool looking guy. I love Frogger. Another game that I had to have, Harvest Moon, Magical Melody. Especially for five bucks. Uh, basically, Harvest Moon games aren't too easy to find. They're quite collectible. And I have one of the other Harvest Moon games for GameCube already. So this is my second one. I think there's three total. So hopefully I'll find the other one. But it's a nice collection piece. And uh, as for all these boxed games, I don't have any of them. Except for that Tony Hawk. These are all new for my collection. So none of these are for sale. Except for Tony Hawk. I picked up Bratz Rock Angels, I guess. I don't have it. Definitely never going to play it, but... It's a game that I've really never seen, so I figured I might as well pick it up. There were a bunch of new GameCube games that came in, and I bought all of them except one. I didn't pick up the Harry Potter game yet, but... GoldenEye Rogue Agent, a game I would play. It was 250 I think I have this on PS2. No manual on this one, though, sadly two discs. It's a really good game. I haven't played it on GameCube yet, but I have played it I think on PS2. Definitely worth the money. And we have Battlefield Bad Company too. There's five bucks. This one is for sale. I don't need it. I just picked it up because it was cheap. Except the plastic disc in the center is cracking it hasn't cracked into the data yet I'm hoping that it won't at all but I guess we'll see and then I picked up 31 Game Boy games some of these I have and some I don't Pokemon Pinball, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Zebco Fishing. Those were a buck a piece. We've got Top Gun. Kelly Club. Frogger, too. And these were all the prices that are on them. Uh, Winnie the Pooh Adventures. Stuart Little. Rocket Power. Terminator 2. They were all a buck a piece except two of them that I picked up that I'll show at the end of the Game Boy games. I don't find Game Boy games this cheap very often. That's why I bought all of them that I saw. SpongeBob SquarePants, NBA 3 on 3. This game, the label's in really crappy shape. Game & Watch Gallery 3, I actually picked up, or Game & Watch Gallery, I guess it's the first one. Picked up three of these. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I picked up two of those. Super RC Pro AM, another copy of Killer Instinct. There's another one of the Game & Watches. And 100, 102 Dalmatians. Uh, Air Force, Delta, Yu-Gi-Oh, that's for sale. Billy Bob, Hunting and Fishing, that's for sale. NFL Quarterback Club 96, another game I watched, two of those are for sale. Tony Ox Pro Skater 3, I think I have that already. 
F1 race, Harry Potter, which is for sale, and Tomb Raider, which is amazing for a dollar. Then we've got Banjo Kazooie, Gronk, Grunties, Revenge, Grunt, I don't know, Grunkies, Grunchies. Paid five bucks, it's card only, but it's a game I wanted, and I was hoping he'd get it in, and he finally did. And two more Game Boy games. We've got Kirby Superstar, or Super Stack, Star Stacker, that I paid three to box for. And Marvin Strikes Back, Looney Tunes for two. Didn't have those. And here's the receipt. 100 bucks total with tax. Got a couple N64 cards. They're Wave Race. This one's dirty, I'll clean it. Buck a piece. This one's really nice. I think I'm going to keep one and sell the other. For Super Nintendo, I got Final Fight, game I've been waiting for. My friend says it's really awesome. Has sticker residue there, I have to get off. I paid six bucks for it. And it has some writing back there. And I'm gonna go quickly through the rest of these games because my battery's running dead. We got Captain Skyhawk, NES Play Action Football, Dino Wars with a crappy label. And golf. They're a buck a piece. Then we've got To the Earth and Joust. They were a buck a piece also. And then three more NES games in Dust Slaves. The Adventures of Link. Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. That's a pretty rare game. And Skater Die too. This is a near mint copy. I've been waiting to get a gray cart and finally have one for seven bucks. This is a really rare game. There's a buck. And I thought, didn't know I had this, but I guess I do. I paid two for it. So those are my game pickups for July 3rd, 2012. Stay tuned for more videos. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. It's going to take me some time until I finally start opening some more Pokemon packs. Um, but I do have videos to upload, so I'll get one of those up right away. So stay tuned for that. Have a great night. Bye.